anything big going on today? Anybody? Anything? Oh, that, that's right. Just the biggest sporting event of the entire year. Super Bowl 52 between the powerhouse Patriots and the underdog Eagles took place tonight in Minnesota. Tom Brady playing in his eighth Super Bowl going for ring number six, while Nick Foles has moved from backup to center stage. We pick it up in the second quarter, Pats down nine to three, going with some trickery. But the pass just out of the reach of Tom Brady late in the half. Eagles are like, let me show you how to run that play. Fourth and goal in the pass. Pass to Nick Foles for six. Doug Peterson, you dog, Eagles lead. 22 to 12 at the break. Justin Timberlake with a beautiful tribute to Prince at the halftime show, painting Minneapolis purple. Back to the action, Nick Foles throwing dimes in the second half. Drops it into Corey Clement. The play was reviewed and stands as a touchdown. Eagles up 29 to 19. We haven't heard from Tom Brady in a while, so let's check in with Pats. Brady to Rob Gronkowski. That is unstoppable. Pats take their first lead of the game. It's 33 to 32. But Foles would lead the Eagles down the field, find Zach Ertz, who flies into the end zone. The Eagles are back on top, 38 to 33, with under three to play. Uh-oh, we've seen this before. Sets things up for Brady, but wait a minute. An alternate ending. Brady stripped. Eagles recover, and Philly gets their first ever Super Bowl title, beating the Pats 41 to 33. Nick Foles was named Super Bowl MVP. I, I felt calm. I mean, we have such a great group of guys, such a great coaching staff. We felt confident coming in, and, you know, we just went out there and played football. You know, we've played this game since we were a little kid. We've dreamed about this moment. We're very blessed. The Missouri State Lady Bears are in the middle of a brutal stretch playing the top teams in the conference all on the road all in a row and none of them would be tougher than Sunday's battle at first place Drake. Freshman Emily Gardner set a career high Friday night. I'll see you and I'll raise you another big night for the freshman that makes it 28 to 24 Drake up Gardner back for more in the second. She set a new career high with 18 points. Lady Bears down by two. The story of the half, though, was Aubrey Buckley, the extra effort, and put back to beat the buzzer. Buckley had 20 points at the break. Missouri State trailed by three points, though. Then Buckley still at it. She had 22 points and 16 rebounds. That's incredible. Gets another putback. Lady Bears trail 50 to 48. But while the Lady Bears handled the inside, Drake caught fire from the outside. Maddie Dean hitting one of Drake's 11 threes. Lady Bears fall 84 to 65. Again, a career day for senior Aubrey Buckley, the first Lady Bear with a 20 point 15 rebound game since 2012. Lady Bears drop to 8 and 3 in the conference. Up next, Missouri State. State will host Bradley next Friday at 7. As for the men's team, the Missouri State Bears continue to struggle. Yesterday, they dropped their fifth straight game, 97-75 to at Loyola. The Bears' offense wasn't the problem. Four Bears scored in double digits, led by Mustafa Lawrence with 19 points. Missouri State shot over 50% from the field and 43% from three, yet still lost by 20-plus points. Yikes. The Ramblers went 61% from the field and 50% from three. That is outrageous. The Bears fall all the way to eighth in the standings. They sit at five and seven. Up next for the Bears, they will travel to Indiana State Tuesday. Tip off for that game is at 6 p.m. Sticking with hoops, the Mizzou Tigers picked up their first ever win over number 21 Kentucky yesterday, beating the Wildcats 69 to 60. Cash's Robertson and Jordan Barnett led the team with 16 points apiece. Great win for our program. Um, for the university, uh, for the state of Missouri. I just think it's, it's a fun game to be a part of Saturday, 1 p.m. Um, it's a good feeling. Happy for our guys because they, they put the work in. We don't need just, you know, these wins to, to tell us that. We, we know when we're in the gym practicing, like, we see it. We just got to make sure we, we bring it every night. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm confident that, we, you know, we can go up against anybody in the country if we bring it like that every night. Big win for Mizzou, certainly, but probably not as big as the Philadelphia Eagles. I think a lot of people are probably yeah. uh, surprised by that outcome. I think a lot of folks probably are. Megan, yeah. thanks. More news next.